Being a software developer is really, really cool. But as usual, there are two sides of the coin here. I'm alexfarmdeveloper.com and if you do want to learn more about the harsh truth behind being a software developer, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like this video, and let's dive in. A life of a programmer is mostly painted bright, like it's so glamorous, you just type away, just grind, you make awesome stuff, build out Instagram or the next WhatsApp. So yeah, uh, it's no, you, uh, no surprise that on the internet, on even YouTube, there's kind of a hustle culture that kind of glamorizes the programmer, so you just really, really have to work your way through it and you will succeed. And today I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about the other side. So what no one tells you about programming. So here are four things to be prepared for when you are uh, trying to be a programmer or you're just learning to code and how to cope with them. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about me so you know who am I and how you can take this advice. Of course, you have to take this advice with a grain of salt I'm a self-taught iOS developer. I've been doing this since 2011. Well, it's 11 years from now. For, and I actually love learning, love building stuff. And I also love teaching. Thinking, uh, speaking of teaching, uh, let me remind you that you can uh, meet with me on a one-on-one -on -one call, uh, a Zoom call, where you can ask me questions. I can just teach you SwiftUI, for example, at rebeloper.com slash mentoring. Uh, that's rebeloper.com slash mentoring, a 60-minute Zoom call with me. Now, the first thing that I would like to point out is that coding, it's basically really, really lonely. So, um, you might be wondering why that is because usually in large companies you just have these teams and uh, yeah there are people around you but actually are you ready to sit for in front of a computer for more than 40 hours per week because you have to be ready for that even though that you have your teammates uh, you are actually in front of this screen and you are thinking typing away code and uh, stand-ups, Zoom meetings do not count as social interactions. So yeah, you will be quite lonely or you have to be able to bear this loneliness or you have to be willing to uh, be this kind of lonely, like just work away in your own thoughts in front of the desk. So yeah, you have to be prepared for that. It is a lonely job. Now, how to cope with this loneliness? Like what well, you have to separate work time from off work time. Like if you have eight hours, that's just eight hours. Don't do it more. Like don't go home and think about solutions for that bug you have. Uh, you just have to solve. Now another thing to do is meet people in person because yeah, we are having these Zoom meetings with colleagues, with friends, with others. But yeah, it's kind of lonely if you're just sitting in front of a computer. Meet people in person. That will boost up your uh, social levels. And of course, take care of your mental health. This is kind of overlooked. You have to be tough. You're a coder. You're a man. No, everybody's taking us all here because you are actually in front of a computer for a long period of time. You have to think a lot. And um, yeah, if you don't take care of your mental health personally, I am using Calm for this. I'm really, really enjoying it. I've been using this for years. It's really, really a great app to use. Now, second is that you will burn out. Now, it's not a question here like, are you going to burn out at some point or are you going to burn out at all? You will definitely burn out. And I do know this because most probably you love your job and you will try to code or just program as much as possible. And then, yeah, mistakes happen. You will over, uh, you will go overboard with this and basically you will burn out. Now, as a developer, you know, your life is a constant backlog. So you will know that, okay, this is this, this and this and this and this and that. You will have to solve by this deadline. So yeah, that's, that's kind of tough. Uh, and uh, most of these companies that uh, do have these kind of developers are just 
accustomed to that you have to eat sleep code and repeat and that's all your job and of course not only on your work time even off work uh, mostly junior developers are kind of require this which is really a shame so yeah eat sleep code repeat i don't really recommend that because you will burn out now how to cope with burnout Follow work hours strictly, as I told you. If it's eight hours, then it's eight hours and leave work at work. Now, yeah, of course, if you are doing remote work, try to set up a desk, maybe in a separate room if that's uh, uh, available for you. Or just, if in my case, I just have a separate space for my work on that table. If I do something else, anything else on that table, I'm not going to sit at that part of the table. Now, switch off when you're at home. Of course, yeah, do it. Uh, of course, if you are coming from uh, uh, the office, uh, if you are doing remote work, make sure that you are having a separate place in your home where you are doing only work. Now have a life outside programming. Now, um, yeah, maybe you have kind of a hobby project on Stack uh, on GitHub. Uh, no, please, please uh, make it really, really small. Have a life outside programming. Meet some people. Do some chores. Go on a hike. Go on a walk. Because yeah, if if you all you do is just programming, you will definitely burn out. Now. If you do want to code and you do want to learn, then you should definitely check out rebeloper.com slash mentoring when you can meet me on a 60 minute Zoom call. But you can also win a free Zoom call with me. All you have to do is just comment and like this video. So comment on the video down below and like this video. Now we are going to draw our winner for the previous video today. And uh, let's just go over there and uh, Let's see, uh, it was creating a Sudoku solver in Swift. So let's uh, copy out the link for this video and let's pick a winner from our commenters. Let's continue and pick a winner. Well, it's ClearCut, great tutorial. You have a wonderful channel. Thank you very much. You are very, very welcome, ClearCut. Uh, make sure that you contact me at support at rebeloper.com with the email address that you have made your comment with. Now just let's just jump back into our tutorial and uh, let's just move forward and uh, number three is that you are never enough now uh, this is kind of from both sides other people will tell you that you are not enough and also you are going to tell yourself that you are not enough you don't know enough uh, you must learn this and that and um, yeah there's always a new shiny thing to run after, be it, I don't know, Swift UI, async await, or uh, just, just the new stuff that comes out. Uh, yeah, don't be fooled. Uh, just take it easy. You don't have to know everything. You just have to do your job. You have to do uh, whatever is necessary that you uh, have to build. Now, uh, how to cope with this? Follow the 1% rule. I've been talking about the 1% rule uh, on my channel in other videos also, but here's, here's the gist of it. Now, uh, there are three types of programmers. There's you, that's one type of programmer, and there are programmers that are kind of better than you, or you think they are better than you, or there are programmers that are not that good as you, or so you think. And uh, how to cope with this? Now, uh, just learn from the better programmers, teach the programmers that are not good as you. And what about yourself? Well, you just think about how you can be 1% better each and every day. That is all you have to think about. You don't have to think about the better or the worst programmers in, uh, around you or you, uh, uh, who you know. Just focus on being 1% better each and every day. Now, the fourth one is that you are trapped in a golden cage. Of course, the salary is high, but the expectations are even higher. And um, yeah, you might get that huge salary that you wouldn't get in other industries. But yeah, make sure that you know 
when it's, it, it is worth it because yeah, it's really, really to be trapped by the huge salary. Now, how to cope with this? Money cannot buy happiness. Serving other does. Do remember this. It's just money. Money comes and goes. Or, and most importantly, money is just a tool. Don't be its slave. Let money be your slave, not the other way around. You are going to use money for, let's say, buying some stuff for free time or making you kind of happy. But make sure uh, that uh, you know and use money uh, uh, as just a tool. And uh, yeah, time is more valuable than money. Uh, it's needless to say, you most probably know this, but many of us don't really give more, uh, much emphasis on this and uh, much thought to this. But yeah, remember, time is more valuable than money. Use your time wisely. And if you are a Sudoku uh, lover, so if you are solving Sudoku and you know that uh, time is uh, really, really important for you, then make sure to check out how you can create a Sudoku solver in Swift right over here in this video. Make sure to click that and I will see you there.